corrugated galvanized or galvanized. Galvanized metal looking shape. Sheet looking metal galvanized. <laughs> galvanized metal roofing na lang. Sheet. Metal roof sheet. Galvanized metal roof sheet. <laughs> Yero. <laughs> Today we will be going around a brand new house and lot for sale in White Plains, Quezon City. But first, make sure you hit like, click subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Presello underscore official. My name is Julia and welcome to another Presello open house tour. Now this house is so brand new. I am excited to tell you that we are the first ones in here so hopefully you guys will get to enjoy that exclusive content. Okay, so this is the facade, very nice already. Dito pa lang. Let's go in. Okay, so again, brand new, so there are workers inside and construction materials. So let's just get past that. So upon entering, you will see your five vehicle car port, which you can get to through the automatic gate. So of course, we are pedestrians, so we went through the smaller gate. But yeah, good to know that there is an automatic gate over here. And then from here, you can see, of course, your main entrance, as well as the sides. So if you will notice, the house itself isn't touching your perimeter walls, which is the right thing anyways. So unfortunately, there are a lot of houses here in the Philippines na sinasagad talaga yung property. So that's not proper practice. And this house clearly has space on either side and the front and the back. Okay, so we'll get to the side later on. But for now, let's go through the main entrance. So two senorita steps up and you're here. So you have this huge and nicely plain front door and then glass panels on either side. Let's go in. And the first thing that you will notice was A, you've got high ceiling, and B, it's so bright. Sobrang maaliwalas niya. Right, but before we get to that area, <laughs> hello again, Kuya. <laughs> Let's first go to the left, which is bedroom number one. So upon entering, the first thing you will see is another door that leads to your ensuite, toilet and bath. And then the bedroom itself. Now this, although is labeled for the sake of this video as a bedroom, which it is, it can also be turned into an office or a den or an elderly room. Really, it's up to you. But what's nice about this particular room is the fact that you have a view of the, well, your entrance. <laughs> All of this window space with that nice view of your neighborhood, which again is in White Plains. And if you're not very familiar with White Plains, it's one of the more exclusive subdivisions right here in the metro right smack in the middle of Metro Manila, to be honest. And also, what's nice about this room is that it has glass doors or sliding doors that has access to your side garden, which from here, thankfully, you can see is really nice. So you've got your stone pavement or your pathway and then lots of bamboo plants. So this is a theme, on the, especially on the ground floor, the floor to ceiling windows and sliding doors. And also, I would like to direct your attention to 
the floor. So the bedrooms, including the ones upstairs, have this really nice engineered oak flooring. But what I really love about it is its pattern. So it's cut in a herringbone pattern. And you know, instead of just regular wood slats, that's very, you know, even and symmetrical, etc. This kind of pattern for me works so well and it's so timeless. It's been around since what, the 1940s? And until now, it's still very timeless and very, what's the word? And very, and very chic. Also, apart from the wood, you have Italian marble slabs. So this is in this room, quite special actually, but if you want to see more of that, let's go back out. And you have an even bigger wall of the Italian marble. So this is your nice accent piece. And then again, you have the homogeneous floor tiles, which is very striking because it's all clean and white, but it doesn't take away from the actual view, which is, again, the outdoors. So you have bamboo trees. You, it's up to you if you want to add more to it, if you have like more plant knowledge and want to incorporate that into this home as well. Comment down below if you yourself are a plantito or plantita and would love to have this view of your babies. <laughs> but yeah, this is a luxury not every home can afford. Well, yes, it is your backyard, it is your perimeter wall. It's still very nice to look at. And it brings in so much light that just being here feels like I'm outside. Even if I'm inside and I can feel the aircon. <laughs> okay, so from that wall and this wall and this one, you have these sliding doors that again go out to your side. And this one, this area is your patio. And then this is your swimming pool. Now the difference between these three doors, okay, this one specifically, while all the doors have a lock, like this one, this is the only set of doors that has that, a secondary lock. So these ones, you pull down to unlock it, and the reason for that is children. So you don't want your children opening these doors and jumping down the swimming pool. Now for adults, this is very convenient. Open this up, make it into a nice open area layout. Maybe sit on the edge, have your toes dipping in the pool. But if you have children, of course, safety first. Again, you don't want them opening the door by themselves. So you lock this and you lock that. So I love that they thought of that. Okay, so from here, you then have access to your formal kitchen. Now this is a beautiful kitchen. You can put up stools in here so that you have a nice um, breakfast nook or bar. So you have this island counter. And then all of this space, you have your induction stove, or yeah, your induction stove <laughs> built right in, your sink, cabinetry, and then provision for your refrigerator. But what's special about this kitchen, there's a lot of things special about this house to be honest, is this. So okay, yeah, it's storage, right? Yeah, typical pantry probably. But when you open it, it's a lot deeper than you would have thought, <laughs> right? Comment down below if you got surprised, because I certainly did. But when I opened it, it was like, wow. I was expecting shelving. I didn't expect the whole room. <laughs> so yeah, your breakers are here, so easy for maintenance, but it's also hidden from everyone else, and also it's much safer to have it in here. Okay, so let's close these. Right? It's so narrow, it's so slim, you would think it was just shelving, not an entire room. <laughs> okay, so across your formal kitchen, through this double action swing door, which means it can sw swing both in and out, is your daily kitchen. So your provision for your refrigerator, more counter space, this one is granite, you have your sink, and then again, an induction stove and an oven. Okay, so from here, you then can go to the other side of your house. So this is your utility area. You can, let's go here first. <laughs> so you can go here and access your swimming pool, but there's a hedge. <laughs> so ideally, you don't really want to go there, go here, unless you had to. And this is more provision. So again, laundry area, etc. It's up to you what you want to do with it. Weathering water tank, etc. 
again, more provisions. Ideally, this is where you would put your actual washing machine or your dryer and or your dryer. And then here is your sink. Again, for the laundry or utility. Whatever it is that you want to do out here. Pwede rin magtanggal ng kaliskis as some or a lot of Filipino households do. <laughs> right. And then right next to your utility area is your female staff quarters. Let's see if there's... Okay. So, I love that the door is louvered so that the air can just go in and no need, no need for a screen. So, you have this much space and then you have an ensuite toilet and bath. Alright, so everything still has plastic. <laughs> and then the other room which is two steps down. Hey, <laughs> uh, this is your male staff quarters. Sorry about <laughs> So again, you have space over here, and then this is where your ensuite toilet and bath is. And then again, two steps up, and you're back to your five-vehicle carport. And I say carport because it is open. It's not an enclosed garage. Okay, so let's go back. Also, your outdoor units for your air conditioning is out here so you can't really see it from the facade which is nice but still very easy for maintenance also i just want to point out how tall this door is yeah it's definitely tall <laughs> everything is well because you've got i'm not mistaken this is around 3.2 meters in height yeah definitely 3.2 so your standard your average is 2.7 this is 3.2 high ceiling high windows <laughs> it's it's also airy and bright and it feels like you can breathe in here speaking of breathe <laughs> now this is your storage room now if you're wondering why it's so squarish that's because this one could serve as your elevator shaft so yeah if you ever wanted an elevator in the future you can tear down this door and this entire area could be your elevator shaft this is where you'd put it but for now since there is no elevator it's storage and then before we and then you have your main stairs over here well be, before we go up just want to show you the last bit on this ground floor and you have your guest toilet or your powder room so we have a lot of space to be honest, this is quite huge for a powder room since you only have a water closet and a sink. Then you have a window over here that won't make your guests feel uncomfortable because it's very, it's very high up and you can't really see the neighbors. I mean, you might be able to. Yeah, you can, but from here, when you're standing here, you can't really see anything but the sky. So I love how there's a lot of privacy in that um, powder room, but still has lots of lights coming, lots of light coming in. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe if you haven't already because we see you watching our videos and maybe you just forgot to subscribe or, ha or aren't aware that you haven't subscribed yet. So this is a gentle reminder. Okay, let's check up the upstairs. Let's check out the upstairs. I think I said like, check up. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Carousel, the leading online platform for buying and selling new and secondhand goods. In Carousel, everyone wins. Buy, sell, give. Anything goes. So if you're wondering, Teka, bakit parang first floor pa lang ang dami na nating ground na cover? That's because we have 453 square meters of lot area and 700 square meters of floor area. We've just finished the first floor, exploring the second. We have a lot more space to go. Okay, so upon reaching the second floor, you will immediately see that the floor is different. You have more of the engineered oak wood flooring as opposed to the one on the ground floor which all had homogeneous tiles okay so on the second floor we can go either left or right but we're going to go here first because the first thing that you will see are these double doors so if that didn't tell you enough this is your master bedroom so bedroom number two so you have this much space this is ideally where you would want your study to be especially since you have all of this light and access to the balcony which I'm sure you can tell how <laughs> wide it is. And then over here is your bed proper. Now, I'm all for rearranging layouts and whatnot, but this room in particular already has that layout for you covered because you can see your panel too, your switches, 
and your outlets. So this is very clearly where your bed should be and your bedside tables will land right there. And your entertainment will go on the opposite side, seeing as, again, we have all of the panels over here. Then, of course, master bedroom, you have a master toilet and bath. So upon entering, you will see your closet space, your vanity, more closet space, and then your toilet and bath. So you have your bathtub, your water closet, your his and her sinks, and another water closet. So yeah, you have double water closets. And all of the fixtures are color. So from your bathtub to your water closet to your uh, faucet, your sink, it's all color. And then of course we have a shower as well, an enclosed shower space. <laughs> and again, another vanity. So you have two vanities, one facing the mirror and one next to the door. Okay, this is a lot of space. By the way, speaking of a lot of space, the master bedroom itself, including the toilet and bath, is already about 100 square meters. So it's actually bigger than a lot of condominium units already, and this is just the master bedroom. Okay, and then right across your double doors, we have this one. So it's got glass and it's this room. So you would think, what is this for? Is it storage? You could turn it into storage. Some people would turn it into an office, like a printer room of some kind. But this is best as, I think, as a meditation room or a prayer room of sorts. Okay, and then right next to your meditation room or your prayer room is bedroom number three. As you can tell already, all of the rooms are extra bright. Even if the windows aren't floor to ceiling, this is 0.90 from the ground. <laughs> yeah, it's still very bright because it brings in a lot of light. And this still has an ensuite toilet and bath, so you've got wardrobe space. I also like that there are no doors, it's just hanging rods here. That way it doesn't feel very enclosed. Comment down below if this is something that you're into or if you prefer to have closed uh, wardrobe spaces. Okay, and then your ensuite toilet and bath as I mentioned. So your sink, your water closet, and your enclosed shower space. There are a lot of outlets lining the wall. So in this room, it's up to you where you want to put your bed. <laughs> you can change it up. Okay, and then this hallway has this view. So that leads to the front or the facade of your house. And your view is, yeah, your neighbor. But bonus points, your neighbor also has a really nice house. Because again, this is why it claims most houses here look good, including this one. So, you know, in a neighbor where all of the houses, or in a neighborhood where all of the houses look good, you know, your views are pretty much guaranteed to be nice, even if. You don't have a view of the mountains, but stay tuned till the end of the video because will I be able to show you mountains? Maybe. Okay, so bedroom number four. So this one faces the front of your house. So you have two windows over here and then two windows on this side of the wall. Then you still have an ensuite toilet and bath with a walk-in closet. So again, same kind of wardrobe with the hanging rods. Then your sink, your water closet, and your enclosed shower space. <laughs> Careful. And then right across this one, bedroom number five. So again, lots of space. You have a bit of cove lighting over there. The windows here are much higher. This one is about 1.1 or 1.2 meters. I'll say 1.1. <laughs> Then again, you have a view of your neighborhood. This one, actually, you have more of it. You can see more of the trees, the rest of the road. And if you're familiar with White Plains, it is a very hilly subdivision, very sloping, <laughs> sloping. So from here, you can see skylines and a bit of the mountains. But this is just the second floor. So are you going to see more upstairs? Okay. And this room also has an ensuite toilet and bath. So it's almost similar to the previous room, except 
the layout is a little bit different here for the wardrobe, but the toilet and bath itself is a mirror image. So you have your water closet, your sink, and your enclosed shower space. I really do like this glass though. It's very simple, very minimalist. It's just a hole here for you to, for you to hold. There's no extra, like even the hinges are very clean and simple. There's no extra surface for you to have to scrub and clean. So I like this one. Because yeah, for those of you who haven't used glass enclosures before, because sometimes it's more convenient to buy a cortina and then replace it. <laughs> yeah, you have to clean that and if there are more edges that are necessary, it's just more things to clean. And of course, the harder something is to clean, the harder it is to maintain, etc, etc, etc. So a house like this that has cleaner lines, easier to maintain, easier to clean, will last even longer. Okay, so if you're wondering why the stairs are a little reddish in color, that's because this is mahogany. And then your handrails are obviously a different kind of wood because it's a lot darker and more neutral. This one is kamagong. So while they are different kinds of woods, wood types, they work together because again, this one is more saturated in color and this one is more neutral. Okay, so the top floor and why I really like this area. So the moment you step on here and you see the hallway, first thing you will notice is this panoramic window, which literally has a view of the mountains in the distance and the city skyline. So you've got Eastwood and the rest of the city is right over there. So yeah, you see some of your neighbor's roofing lined with trees all around it and then again cities and then mountains. I mean, right in the middle of the metro and you have a view like this. Hello? I see why they put a panoramic window over here. But speaking of roofing, as I can see, so many roo roofing, I was gonna say roofs, roofing, that brings me to this house's roof. So this, these are asphalt tiles, which is quite uncommon and very, very nice to look at, by the way. So most houses have a certain kind of tile that I can't mention because it's a brand name. And apart from those, you also have the typical galvanized and corrugated metal roofing sheets, right? In Tagalog, Yero. <laughs> but this, again, it looks so nice and they're asphalt tiles. Okay, so enough about this hallway, which Obviously, I really, really like because it looks like a gallery of sorts, but instead of paintings, well, you can put them here, but instead of just paintings, again, you have this panoramic view. Okay, enough about that. Julia, relax. <laughs> okay, so at the, at the end of the hall, we have bedroom number six. So again, you have views of the city because you are higher up, all of this space, and then your walk-in closet. Well, the wardrobe area. <laughs> and then an ensuite. And the final room of the house and the floor. Bedroom number seven. So we've got this much space. Again, with a window over here on my left. And then your walk in space or your wardrobe area and an ensuite, toilet and bath which again has those high windows. That way no neighbor can peek over here and make you feel less safe. Not that anyone would be able to peek in here anyways, because again, this is the third floor. And as you saw, this is pretty high up. Not even your neighbor can match the height of your house. So pretty safe. Okay, so that's the final bedroom. But just in case you missed it, we still have this, which again could be an office or your printer room or whatever it is that you need it to be. But mostly, again, if you needed an elevator or wanted an elevator in your house, this is where it would go. Okay, so recap. All in all, you have seven bathrooms, <laughs> not only bathroom, you know, you have seven bedrooms, seven toilet and baths, a five vehicle car port, 700 square meters of floor area, 453 square meters of lot area, your separate female staff quarters and your male staff quarters, both of which have their own ensuite toilet and bath, your formal and informal kitchen, and then this huge area for your living spaces. So perfect for entertaining guests. And speaking of guests, you have a powder room on the ground floor 
right next to your main entrance. And speaking of your main entrance, the door is made out of nara, which is the only door I believe that is made of nara. Everything else, the doors and the stairs are made of mahogany, and then your handrails are again made out of kamagong. So you have all those wood, and then you've got your homogeneous tiles, and then you've got your engineered oak flooring on the higher floors and the bedrooms, and then you have your Italian marble slab. So all of these textures, all of these uh, woods and physical things that you can see and feel, yet the entire house feels so serene still because everything just fits together. And again, considering you have seven rooms, not that you have to use every room as a bedroom because again, you can turn some of them into offices or, or uh, dens or entertainment rooms or theaters, right? Or even a gym, exactly, yeah. So it's really up to you what you want to do with your space. But also what matters in any house is where it is. And again, it's in White Plains, Quezon City. So if you or anyone you know is interested in a place like this, show this video to them. Or if you want to see it for yourself, send us a message or go to our website at www.presolo.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presolo. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here.